Well, Carl, forget listicles. It's time for a listing. BuzzFeed announcing this morning that it will go public, but via a SPAC merger. Julia Borston has a first on CNBC interview with BuzzFeed CEO Jonah Peretti. Julia, over to you. Thank you, Deirdre. An exclusive interview with BuzzFeed CEO Jonah Peretti. BuzzFeed targeting a $1.5 billion valuation, including the $300 million acquisition of streetwear content brand Complex Networks. Jonah, thank you so much for joining us today on this big news. Thanks for having me, Julia. So, Jonah, tell us how going public via SPAC and this combination with Complex will change your strategy going forward. Um, it really just accelerates our strategy. So we were looking last year at doing a traditional IPO. Um, then when COVID hit, we, you know, like a lot of businesses, we really had to, you know, adapt and evolve. And um, we got to profitability last year. Um, and then this year, we're able to get public um, and strengthen our balance sheet, buy complex networks, um, all in an accelerated time period because of the, tr of, of the SPAC transaction. And I think that is really sets us up to be the con consolidator in the media space with this amazing platform we built. Um, and now we can add more iconic brands, BuzzFeed, HuffPost, Complex, BuzzFeed News. Um, and there's a lot of other attractive um, opportunities out there as well. Uh, I have to ask you about the valuation, though, down from a peak of $1.7 billion, and that was back in 2016. What's your message to investors if you have struggled so much over the past however many years it is, six years, to grow your valuation? I would say there was, a, there was definitely a, a very a, a hype period for digital media when a lot of companies were growing really quickly but didn't have really strong, sustainable businesses. Um, we spent the last year managing our costs building a really strong, sustainable, diversified business. We added uh, commerce, um, video advertising, display advertising, programmatic, um, and other high margin, high growth um, advertising um, being one, commerce being another, uh, that has really changed the margin profile of our business and allowed us to become profitable. We've seen growth reaccelerate last year and into this year. And it's, um, it's very exciting. Um, you know, time right now where digital media is maturing and hitting the period where it's a real, real businesses can be built with real defensibility, scalability, profitability, and growth. And I'm curious how many other potential acquisitions are on the horizon. You mentioned that you really want this to be a company that aggregates similar platforms, but you know, in addition to complex, how many more do you think you'll do and, and of what variety? I, I've been talking to uh, you know founders of companies, management teams of companies. I think there's a, a, a lot of excitement to join up with us. Um, we have done a lot of the hard work that it's harder for subscale companies to do. We built this commerce platform, advertising platform. We are well capitalized. We have scale. Um, we have these iconic brands and the ability to, to, to better monetize and distribute content. Um, and so if you're a a someone who is running a subscale digital media company, and you know you have to build all these things, um, you can really skip a bunch of steps by by joining up with um, you know the leading digital media company in the space, BuzzFeed, and and accelerate your vision. And a big thing for me is I believe strongly in the editorial voice of um, of, of the brands that we have. We're not trying to change complex to be like the BuzzFeed boy voice. We want HuffPost mm -hmm. to be even more HuffPosty. Um, we just want to build a, a strong foundation to accelerate these companies uh, to the next level and let them reach their, their full potential.